Welcome back. It is 912 this morning. Do you know someone living with a traumatic brain injury? According to the Brain Injury Association of America, more than 5.3 million people in the United States are living with a permanent brain injury related disability. That is one in every 60 people. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month and an opportunity for family and friends to learn about the signs, the symptoms, as well as treatment options for people living with TBI and how we can help them. And joining me this morning to talk more about that is John Fitt, parent of a TBI survivor and chairman of the Villa Leachy Board, and Kathy Sartain, also a parent of a TBI survivor. I want to thank you both for coming on this morning. Really do appreciate it. This is such an important topic to talk about because not too many people are aware that the people that we're living amongst each other, they're, pro they're dealing with TBI injuries. John, I want to talk more about, with you about that. Tell me one, your story. So, um, as you say, I am on the board of directors for Villa Lychee, but the way I got involved is my son suffered a traumatic brain injury a little over 20 years ago. Uh, and as a consequence of that, you know, he lives with us now. Uh, you will see uh, the disabilities that come as a result of brain injury are quite diverse depending on which area of the brain is da damaged. My son has a very short term, his memory is, is, is very, very poor. He has no short term memory. So that's created some real challenges for us. What are some of the uh, things that most people with TBI suffer from? Well, there, there are a number of different disabilities depending on which part of the brain is affected, but I'll tell you there are a few things that are common to all of them. And one of the things is, is really around loneliness. Mm. You will see that uh, for people um, who have suffered a traumatic brain injury, the rate of depression is about 30% higher than the general population, and the rate of suicide is about twice that of the general population. And much of that comes from loneliness. They really don't have a sense of belonging. One of the things that we've seen, and it's why we've started this community for Villa Lychee, one of the things we've seen with uh, support groups is when we bring together a group of individuals who suffered a traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. they connect with each other. They understand what they've gone through. They feel like they belong. That's a sense of belonging and a community that we want to create for Villa Lychee. So important. Kathy, I want to bring you in on this story because okay. you're also a parent of a TBI survivor. They, tell me about the common bond that they all share. Well, every TBI injury is unique, traumatic brain injury. It's very unique. There are no two that are alike. But the common bond that the survivors all share is they all have a profound sense of loss. Mm. The life they're living after the traumatic brain injury is not the life that they lived before. Let's talk about Villa Lychee. And not too many people are familiar with the name. What's the purpose of Villa Lychee? Um, Villa Lychee is to provide um, for adult traumatic brain injury survivors um, a community where they can, you know, like build friendships and um, a nurturing environment so yeah. that they feel part of something that they can be part of. And John, this is a first of its kind residence. Explain the vision here and, and where this will go. As Kathy said, one of the things that's a little bit unique about this population is they had a life, they had a vision, they were living life and they've lost it. That's different from some of the other uh, groups that have disabilities, developmental disabilities. That's one of the things that keeps them together. So when we started this, Villa Lychee started seven or eight years ago with a small group of concerned parents and we looked around the country to say, is there a residence, a community that's dedicated to people with a TBI? And we didn't find any anywhere. So we said, we're gonna do that in Indiana. We started that in Indiana, we started that project. Our vision is to expand this across Indiana and eventually across the region and eventually across the nation. If there are people who are watching this morning that didn't know that they had a community, how can they get in touch with you? They can reach us by going to our website at braininjury.me. If you go there uh, and you have a passion for our cause or you know somebody who has a passion or is touched by this, you can sign up for a, a newsletter, you can, uh, you can join and offer your services, or you can also donate. There's also a great deal of information on that website about brain injury. Okay, John Fett, Kathy Sartain, want to appreciate you both mm -hmm. for coming on this morning to talk about that. Thank you so much. Right, thank uh, you. For more information on Villa Lychee, we put a link on our website. Just go to fox59.com. You'll be able to find more information there. Jim?